Hey guys, Constance here from Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So, as you can see, we've got a chicken coop. Mr. Smith and I got out here this morning and got to work and finished up the coop. Um, it is 100% built, so the only thing that is left to do is tomorrow morning, Mr. Smith and I are going to come out here and paint. We're actually going to paint the inside because the material that we used here for siding is siding and that's great, but on the inside of it, it's, it's sort of a um, porous sort of texture. And so we're going to go ahead and paint that so that the inside of it is sealed because after all, this is a chicken coop and there's going to be poop. <laughs> and so I want a surface that is easily cleaned and all of that. So as you can see, we have got four roosts that go the entire length of the coop. There's a nice big window here on the front that is hardware cloth and then we've got a great big shutter that closes down over it to protect it and shelter it and all of that. There's plenty of space to walk into the coop. However, once we install the nesting boxes, the pre-built metal system that I have, my concern is there's not going to be a lot of space in here. So we are gonna go ahead and install the metal you know, nesting box system on this wall. However, I'm pretty certain that sometime in the future, I will build a nesting box uh, section over here and put it on this wall so that this will be freed up so that there's plenty of room to get in here and move around. Because that was kind of the whole point of building this was having the ability to walk into a coop easily to be able to access everything. And so I'm pretty sure that that is what um, is going to end up happening down the road. Um, but it doesn't have to happen yet. I'll, I'll put that on my list of we'll get to it. <laughs> but I'm very happy with how the coop turned out. And like I said, all that's left is to paint. We will get out here and paint the inside tomorrow and then go ahead and install the nesting boxes and we will be able to move all of the chickens in here tomorrow night. So I will be very excited about that. Good morning. So I'm just out here on the front porch enjoying one more cup of coffee before we get started today. We are going to work on painting the chicken coop, uh, painting at least the inside so that we can get all of the chickens moved over there. Alright, so we have been at it painting this morning and we're getting a good start on it but we're definitely going to need a whole nother can of paint because, uh, and I knew this was going to be the case that the back side of that siding was extremely absorbent and so we're going to go grab another can and we are going to invest in a paint sprayer because we've been needing one of these for a long time and I think it's time to get one because we're gonna be at this forever and that will make our job much easier. So we are about to head to Lowe's. All right, you guys, so here it is, the chicken coop. So today we painted it and I know it doesn't look like a very tidy job, but that's because we still have to paint all of the trim white, but um, it's pretty much done and we will be moving the chickens in here tonight. So we will wait until after dark and when all of the chickens are asleep in the original coop over there, 
and then we will go in there and pick them up and then we will bring them in here to the big coop and uh, that'll be it there will be no more no more original coop being used as a regular chicken coop at least it will now officially be the brooder coop and uh, so let me show you the finished job in here now there is one modification I am going to end up making. So as you can see, we moved the nesting boxes in here. We painted the inside. I did not paint the roosts simply because I felt like painting it would make it slick and I didn't want it to be slippery for the chickens. And so we have the nesting boxes mounted on the side. In the original coop, this nesting box was underneath a roost. And you can tell because the metal is all corroded and rusting and all of that. And so kind of a nasty situation. So it's not very pretty, but it has been scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. And that's just how it's going to look. It's a chicken coop. What can I say? So we've got shavings down in there Mr. Smith is mowing on the Mahindra the window is made of hardware cloth and it's the very small quarter inch hardware cloth we have a nice heavy shutter that hooks up here and it has one hook on each side And it just closes down like that. And again, the trim on the shutter is also going to be painted white, as well as around the doors, around the windows, and all of that. So then down here is the chicken access. So that closes there. Then we use the handy dandy swivel, but just, just as a little added reinforcement, we have a latch too, just in case. So there it is. So we are really happy with how it turned out. And again, there is going to end up being one modification. And you can probably tell what it is right there. The nesting boxes on this wall right here, the pre-made metal nesting boxes, there's an issue. This right here, because this is such a narrow space, this I think is an accident waiting to happen. So the plan is this will be getting removed and over here on this wall I'm going to make a smaller um, nesting box area and honestly this huge system that I've got here is overkill. I don't have that many chickens. We don't need this many nesting boxes. This is a 10 nest setup. My chickens use two. so. It's overkill. So I'm gonna do a classic milk crate or maybe bucket kind of system over here on this wall and I'll be able to get three or four nesting boxes over there and that will be perfect for our situation because like I said that is an accident waiting to happen. I can just see myself gouging open my thigh on that right now. So there we go. That is it, it is official. Never again, never again will we have chicks in the house because now we got a place to raise them. So the plan for tomorrow is I'm going to come out here and I'm going to gut that thing, take everything out, clean it, the roosts, everything's going. And internally we'll start from scratch. And then as soon as it is finished, we will have the chicks out here. Good morning, everybody. How was your first night in your new house, huh? You all doing all right in there? Yeah? You ready to come out? You got a new door. Gotta figure this one out, too. <laughs> there you go.